Hey guys, my name is John Park and welcome to the Foundation Group. For today's demonstration, we're going to be focusing on vehicle and mech design. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are some examples that I pulled up of some vehicles. Now, this is very, very specific because it only, there's, it only ranges in two different categories. Uh, on the left side, you have construction vehicles. On the right side, you have military vehicles. Um, both having wheels um, and both basically having a, a, a driver or a, a cabin where the driver would sit in. Um, this, this one here obviously has treads, but it has wheels, right? Um, but the thing that I want, I want you guys to think about is one is going to be the size, right? The size is going to be something that's going to determine really the scale of the vehicle. All of these vehicles here differ in size. The other thing that I want you guys to think about is really the number of wheels, right? So the two on the top have four wheels. But if we look on the bottom, these vehicles have, they range anywhere from six to eight wheels, right? So six being this, uh, the construction vehicle down here on the bottom left and eight being you know the eight wheels here on the very bottom right on this like military you know missile missile carriage um, and those are some of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind is the number of wheels the size and last but not least the function how it's going to be used now once we once we give ourselves a basic parameter of wheels scale and function then we can start getting into the exploration phase but this is something I want you guys I want us to kind of just think about this first before we, we really get into the drawing um, because it'll help us out right so let's go ahead and just start even with the first section here All right what if we just started with the vehicles so I'm gonna copy this here and let's go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and put it here and the first thing I'm gonna do is what if our vehicles had not four wheels but what if it had six wheels and the scale was large right and the function was construction how do we determine that this is going to be that big. Well, if a person is that big, first thing we need to think about is something that's very scaled to man size, right? So doors, levers, handles, even ladders and railing. So we can have little bits of things that represent, hey, this is actually relatively big. You know, little vents, even a, even like a cockpit door. Now, we're going to be doing silhouettes for this thumbnails so we're not going to really necessarily see doors but this is the general idea right you're gonna see bumpers you're gonna see all these all these other little things even the little um, the flaps the rain guard flaps here that come down from the wheel these are all things that are going to give us some nice visual cues or hints on scale Right, so going back to our thumbnail here, our silhouette, if we have the person standing here. Let's say he's some sort of construction worker. Maybe he has a little, little tab. And marking off just to see if everything's in line, right? He's kind of the guy that that kind of has to monitor and make sure that you know all the functions and everything is is working properly um, the first thing that we can think of is well maybe we can have a little uh, ladder here and it, I know it might seem silly to have details for a thumbnail but really it gives us so much so many ideas on an abstract level like this that when we take it to a full drawing or a design 
it becomes that much easier. There's less there's less guessing involved, right? So it's good it's good for us. Now after that, I'm gonna go ahead and start thinking about the scale, right? So this is where I'm gonna start putting in these made up details of the connection points here. Now if you guys need to, go ahead and refer back to your, your reference sheet. You know, I, I pulled in two pages of reference. You know, one is very military, the other one is construction. Um, but you know, it's it's always nice to kind of look at it and just kind of see what other details and things you can add. Right, whether it's like little lights or little railings or things like that, it gives you a sense. It gives you a very holistic sense of of the details that could exist. Right. All the center balance for the mechs for a bipedal has to generally be in the center here, the feet. So this is. This is one general rule of thumb to keep in mind, because if we want a mech where the legs come out from the side, we can do that. We can easily do that. We just got to make sure that the center of gravity always goes right back down to the middle. So that, that we can we can justify the balance. Otherwise, we start to question a little bit, right? The true balance of, of this mech. So this is something that I want you guys to think about for a one-legged mech. Something like that. So even, even this kind of structure um, works, right? So let's just do a quick review. We have a bipedal, quadruped, and six-legged. Okay. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, one of the most important things is let's go ahead and make sure that we solidify um, and understand just by doing a quick little research. You know, I, I w I'd recommend you guys kind of going through and doing a, just a quick, thorough um, you know Google search on the different types of vehicles and the different types of mechs that you like or that you find to kind of um, I guess categorize you know a bipedal quadruped and a six-legged mech um, and then from there start to give yourselves these basic parameters right the number of wheels the scale of function the number of legs scale and function um, and then we can walk it through by doing a fairly comprehensive breakdown of you know the height the number of wheels and the function of the vehicle same with the legs right or same with the mech and that concludes today's demo um, I hope this was helpful for you guys and uh, I look forward to seeing um, the work that you guys produce for this uh, for this section um, please let myself, Matthew Zickery, or Daniel Park know if you guys have any questions. And thank you again for participating in the Foundation Group. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good day.